Hey guys, Peter is here and today I'm going to show you how I modified my Dyson DC30 vacuum cleaner to accept any other lithium polymer batteries which actually extends the usage time of this vacuum cleaner as well as solves the problem if your battery goes bad. Uh, you can do this on uh, this model which has a 4S battery which is a 14.8 volt or on any other model which has a similar battery to this one. So let me just walk you step by step how I did this modification so uh, you can do it yourself at home. For this modification you will uh, obviously need an uh, original Dyson battery you will need to use either 4 cell, if your original battery is 14.8 volt you will have to use a 4 cell lithium polymer battery or if your battery is higher voltage then you should probably uh, use to, uh, 6 cells so the voltage should be around 21 or 22 volts I'm not sure on that it's written here so you have to buy lithium polymer battery of, uh, on the internet. I will try to leave the links uh, in the description below. This one is actually uh, 3000, uh, 3000 milliampers which is more than double the capacity of the original battery so I'm expecting anything from double the, the usage time to something similar to that. You will have to buy charger and this one was around 10 bucks I think so it has the balance, cha uh, balance ports on one side and input port on the other side so usual stuff uh, those two are the this one is the balance uh, cable I'm going to explain how to make it and um, this is the XT60 cable with a connector I also ordered online so those two cables um, and batteries itself other than that you will need standard soldering iron uh, hot glue gun over here and some standard tools to uh, solder and dismantle the battery. So I use a uh, flathead screwdriver, a uh, pair of tweezers, uh, cutting tweezers, um, you need a solder, of course, a soldering flux and this isn't uh, necessary but it helps a lot. This is a vacuum pump to desolder wires from the original battery. So basically uh, this is all you will be needing to do this modification. Uh, this is the proof. As you can see there are no extra uh, cables attached to it. This is just the lithium polymer battery I was uh, showing you earlier uh, with a modified original battery and let me just show you that it actually works. I uh, hope that the sound is enough because uh, as you can see I don't have anything to clean on this table. Now let me uh, show you how I did this. So first of all we are going to remove the battery which you can do by pressing this button on this model or uh, undoing the screws on different models of this vacuum cleaner. So uh, basically you just press this button and pull a bit harder to get this battery out. So once we have the battery out it uh, should look something like this. I must uh, say I already removed the insides of this battery. You can find the videos um, in YouTube how to disassemble this battery. It isn't uh, that simple but once you open it I'm going to show you what's inside. Like I said this is a 14.8 volt which is written here which is a 4 cell lithium battery. So let me just uh, pry this thing open and show you what's inside. This is how the battery looks once you open it. Inside you will find um, a battery uh, management system or a board with uh, connectors that go into, into this hub up here. And um, when you, you have to disassemble or disconnect this, um, these plates from the battery itself. And this is the battery, like I said, in my case, 14.8 volts. So those are the four um, 18650 uh, uh, type cells. Uh, you might have six 
uh, it doesn't matter the procedure is actually really si uh, similar to this one there's only two more wires to the six cell system we won't need this part we will use this part for uh, our modification and we will use uh, this board with the original connectors so this is the part on which we are going to work now so we'll now take a closer look at the battery management system board and as you can see we are going to um, keep this sorry keep these connections because they are original connections as you can see there are two discharge connectors and three information con uh, connections for the for the battery uh, to com communicate with a with a vacuum cleaner so what we are going to do is um, indicate what's uh, which one of those is plus and which one is minus and just follow the the wires to the according um, pad these pads were originally connected to those green cells of the battery so those are going to be our plus and minus. Let me just turn around so you can see better. So this is uh, black is going to be plus in this case and uh, white is going to be minus, which is easily um, traceable back to the original um, battery. You can see there there is uh, even plus and minus written there. And uh, those two wires will be connected to the new connector, which we already bought on eBay. And those five, um, those other connections, which used to be connected to the um, batteries, are going to be desoldered, and we are going to solder um, new balance connector to the to the, to this board. Let me just show you. This is going to be our balance uh, connector, and as you can see, it is uh, very similar. It actually is the same connector to the batteries which you uh, get for your uh, remote controlled toys, cars, drones or boats. And uh, what I did, I ordered uh, this set of connectors on eBay which is great because I can use them for uh, my other projects. And uh, in this case I use a connection with uh, 5 wires for 4S system. But if you have a six, uh, six uh, cell battery, you will have to use a bit wider connector with, I think, seven wires in it. And then I used some silicon wire to solder each wire to the um, recording pin. So a black one is for minus and all others are for cells. So first cell, second, third and fourth. So this is the connection. Uh, we will use uh, to solder directly to the board minus in with in this case is a is a white wire so this is going to be minus for the balance connection and so first cell second cell third cell and fourth cell so I will just uh, shortly solder everything to the board and the discharge connection uh, those two big wires uh, plus and minus are going to be soldered directly to this uh, XT60. They come like this, so two wires and uh, already soldered to the connection. Let me just really quickly do the soldering and I'll get back to you. Once you uh, soldered everything, uh, it should look like this. I disconnected connector from the board in order to solder easier. So I soldered the connector XT60 uh, with its wires to the, directly to the wires of the discharge uh, ports. And uh, this one was the original connector and it stays like that. So that is one part of it and the other one is the board itself. And like I said, uh, this is the connector that was original. It goes to the, to, to the connector of the port. And uh, this is the board itself. We dis uh, dissoldered uh, the metal tabs that that were going to the to the cells, and we soldered those uh, five wires from the balance connector we made to the board. So this is the fourth cell, third cell, second cell, first cell, and minus. 
So it's pretty simple to reverse engineer this and you can just follow the polarity of the original cells in order to um, solder this and this is how it looks now and what we will do now is just put this connector back uh, into its place and this basically is our modification. Let me just try to put this thing nicely back and I will show you what we will do with it. Once you're done uh, with putting everything back together you will see that this clip over here went back, back into place. Those three connections are all the way up. You can see the discharge ports over here and you can see plus and minus here so you can check whether you did the uh, right polarity and I glued the, the battery management system board back with a hot glue gun uh, as well as those connections over here so they are now uh, sorry uh, they are now fi uh, fixed here into place and this is actually all that there is to this modification now what's left to do is just connect the uh, lithium polymer battery just like this one or any other First you'll connect the balance charge like this, second thing you connect uh, the battery like this and uh, you can find a way to attach one of battery to the system but it basically means that uh, your battery is now done. So you can use this one, once this one discharges you can either charge it with the charger that I showed you or uh, take another one and just continue with cleaning and yeah i think that's it if you like this video and if it helped you please make sure to subscribe like or comment down below if you have any questions if you think there's anything i should have done better or showed you better and uh yeah thanks for watching and have a nice day